Hello everyone. Today I want to start with a small story. In 2007, I finished my MBA and after that I joined McKinsey as a consultant in uh, the New York office. I was working there for two years and uh, during those two years, we would be working day and night, 12 to 14 hours, sometimes even longer every day. And the point is, even though we were working long hours, we used to work with intense focus. There was very rarely, I, I don't remember ever while working, uh, checking my phone or social media. In fact, in those days, we didn't have social media. So I was able to give it full and complete focus. And every day, I used to get massive amount of work done. Then 2009, I quit McKinsey. I joined an investment firm, uh, private equity. And just a couple of years later, I started noticing that I was no longer that efficient. Things were taking a lot of time. I was not reading as much. Maybe the number of books I used to read had gone down dramatically. Life was just not moving forward. I was just not getting that feel that in those days I was so focused and I used to do so much. I started feeling that sense of loss. Something was missing. And then when I started realizing, I started noticing, I realized that the problem was the smartphone and the online distractions. Today, I understand exactly what happened and I'm going to put before you a very, a very bold proposition, which is that distraction equals death. Now, of course, it doesn't mean literally death, but from the point of view of our intellectual development, from the point of view of our career, having a happy, satisfying, uh, meaningful life, I want to make a bold claim that digital distraction equals death. And let me try to persuade you and convince you of that. Now, let's think about what happens when we are distracted uh, because of our smartphones and uh, online news and uh, social media and WhatsApp and Instagram. When we get caught up in this whole web, what really happens is we are not able to stay with one thing. We're trying to do some work, trying to type an email. And after five words, we feel like we need to go and check WhatsApp. We come back and then we say, oh, let me just check my email. We are constantly jumping around from one thing to another to another. We're just going round and round like a monkey. And this thing, it may look like, yeah, it's, it's not a great thing. But it doesn't look like it. This is not death. But let me tell you why I say that. Let me ask you this, what is the biggest, what's the biggest downside? What is the damage from being distracted continuously? Most people would say it wastes time, which is true. But I would argue that the time you waste is the smallest of all the damage it does. Yes, you waste a lot of time, but there are a lot of other things that happen which, which are massively, I would say, which are much more harmful. As an example, Let's say you spend half an hour or to say one hour or two hours every day on WhatsApp and Instagram. Okay, those two hours are gone. But what also happens is every time I'm trying to type an email or do some work, in between I switch. When I, when I leave this, leave my work and go to Instagram and come back, what happens? It disturbs my mind. Now, when, my, when I come back, my mind is still, there's still something in my head. I may retain something from, from my Instagram checking or from my WhatsApp. Our mind carries some attention residue. And if we keep checking these things continuously, our mind will never be, we will never be at peace, it will never be calm, it will always be turbulence, it will never be quiet. We will not get great ideas, we will not be able to focus. That is the reason why we constantly want to leave what we are doing and check our phones. Focus is the fundamental ability which allows us to do good things. It doesn't matter how smart you are. You may have, you may have scored high in the, the most difficult exams. Somebody might have done well in IIT, IIMs or degrees from anywhere in, the, in the, the world. It doesn't really matter. If we are not focused, we may have any kind of talent, any degree, any kind of job we cannot perform. So loss of focus is one big problem, but it goes deeper. When we are not able to focus and get our work done, it creates stress and anxiety. We, we sit down to do some work, but after four hours, we find that we have made no progress. 
maybe we did something for like 15 20 minutes and now we are just kind of going back and forth it kills our confidence our self belief that we can do stuff it gradually starts breaking after a couple of years start feeling mm, I, I just can't do it i'm not disciplined i'm lazy i'm procrastinate we start telling ourselves negative stories it destroys our our confidence it destroys our self belief and when that happens when our confidence is low when we're not able to do stuff what happens we get more anxious when we get more anxious more stressed what do we do we want to just escape and find something pleasant and then we end up checking whatsapp and instagram even more in fact you must have noticed the days when things are not going well when it's very stressful work was not great or something bad happened that is the day on which you check your phone even more so when we are stressed we spend more time on social media and online and that will make our stress even more so it's a negative it's a vicious cycle we just fall inside it that is a massive massive harm it's causing to us but i would argue even that is not the biggest harm the biggest harm is that when we are constantly distracted we are never present we're talking to our parents on phone but while talking my, my mind is somewhere else we are uh, sitting in a meeting and while talking to a person face to face half a minute after the conversation is uh, has started my mind is reflected somewhere else we are not present in the conversation we go to a birthday party and the cake is being cut but we are thinking about something else we are spending we are playing games with our kids or family members and again our mind is not there we are in in some sense we are not even able to experience life because to experience life our mind has to be present if we are absent minded all the time if our mind is always drifting between a and b and c all kinds of things we are never experiencing the present moment which means the day goes by and we have not lived the day really the month goes by we have not really lived the month we have not really lived the time at all we are losing precious days and weeks and months of our life what can be more terrible that is why i say a distraction equals death and therefore we have to succeed we have to make a change and we will make the change happen we will bring control and we will be able to break all these habits but for that we need the determination to do whatever it takes and i know you will do it and i am with you and we will make it happen thank you thanks for watching i'll see you soon thank you bye bye